The event today is basically something we've been starting eight years ago and it's really honoring the fallen heroes. A lot of people forget when a fallen hero, what we have left behind is the families. And these families struggle. They have, they have challenges and we just want to be there. The bikers are the best in the world because of the most patriotic group of people we've ever seen. They're always willing to be involved for a cause. And when it comes to basically a patriotic cause as far as supporting families who have lost a loved one in military service, doesn't get any better than that for us to show the respect we have and the support that they need. I'm very excited for this. We have, this has been in the planning stages for a year and we have been planning on this for a year, so I am so happy that we are having this bike ride today over to Summersville, and it just brings attention to our children, which is the main reason why Gold Star Mothers do what we do, also to carry on their efforts to help with veterans. What an honor it is to be the finish line of an event like this, supporting this country, especially this state's fallen heroes. The city of Somersville and its citizens, we roll out the red carpet for events like this because we understand and get it, what our freedom means to those that pay the ultimate price. And that's what this celebration is all about today, is recognizing them, the mothers of the fallen heroes, and all those that support such a great cause. My proclamation is as follows. Whereas I, Robert Schaefer, the mayor of the city of Somersville, proudly representing its citizens, do hereby honor and cause for celebration for all fallen service heroes. Whereas we recognize Gold Star Mothers for their sacrifices of their loved ones who served our country with honor. Whereas we salute Senator Joe Manchin for his continued support of armed forces and his advocacy for veterans and families of fallen heroes. Whereas we celebrate those serving, those who have served, and those who paid the ultimate price for our freedom. So therefore, let it be proclaimed that October 13th and 14th, 2023, in the city of Somersville be recognized as fallen Fallen Hero Remembrance Days. In witness thereof, I have herein to set my hand and cause for the seal of the city of Somersville to be affixed to this proclamation as we proudly celebrate on October 13th and 14th, Fallen Heroes. Thank you. At this time, it is with honor, I would like to welcome to the podium, the president of the Gold Star Mothers, Terry Cunningham. Good afternoon. As he said, my name is Terry Cunningham and I'm the president of the West Virginia Department of Gold Star Mothers. At this time, I would like all the Gold Star Mothers to quickly come up here with me. What? What? Thank you. I call you Quickly. Gold Star Mothers is founded on the attribute that we die twice. We die when we die our physical death, and we die when our name is no longer spoken. I am Terry Cunningham, the proud mother of Staff Sergeant Robert T. Cunningham of the West Virginia Army National Guard, who died by t PTSD suicide. 12 July 2018. Hey, I'm Rose Schilling and I'm the proud mother of AM3. He's Schilling, the United States Navy, who died in 2014. I'm Vicki Ashley Maddox, the proud mother of machinist mate, second class Joseph Allen Ashley, United States Navy, was on the U.S. San Francisco, the submarine in the South Pacific, died the 2005. Well, that was all. It has even planes. 
Hi, I'm Teresa Brown. I'm the proud mother of Staff Sergeant Jeremy Brown. Died in Iraq and is alive and early for 2005. I'm Jenny Billiter. I'm the proud Gold Star mother of Staff Sergeant Jesse Alt, killed in Iraq on the 9th of April in 2008 by an ID in the vicinity of I am Shirley White. I am the proud mother of Staff Sergeant Wadden White. When the station got to the pharmacy flag and died in Afghanistan 2005, Aaron Tribe, also in the proud mother of Fort Rock Gandrin White, who died after his return from a lot. Thank you for your kind attention. Please always remember our fallen heroes. Again, thank you, Gold Star Mothers. It's our honor to have you in our presence today. Now, let me turn the microphone over to the great senator from the state of West Virginia, Senator Joe Manchin. Thanks, Mayor. I hope you all had a great ride. I'll tell you what a day we've had. Beautiful ride. How many is the first time they rode ridden that road? Raise your hand if it's the first time. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you come back and do it again. To everybody, the sponsors, dedicating the time and treasure to, if you know one town, one little town in West Virginia is the most hospitable, the most patriotic town. You're in it right now. Summersville, West Virginia. The first ride I ever did 20 years ago, every ride since then, this is where we come to, and it's always like this. They appreciate the service of everyone in uniform and the families that supported them. That's why we're here today. So Mayor Schaefer, for your, for your undying and unwavering support to all of your staff who's here helping serve and the refreshments are providing for everybody. God bless you and thank you, all of you. Um, to the bridge ride organizers, Jeff Lanham, Robert Jones, thank you for making this happen, being part of this. We appreciate it. To my staff, no one can do things like this unless you have good personnel who really believe and care about serving people. I've been proud with Mar, my state director, Boggs, the entire staff has been working the whole route making this happen, and we appreciate very much what they have done. Law enforcement, Huntington, Charleston, the riders. I, it's a cute little story. The first time we ever had all these escorts with the police, and all my buddies were riding. And they said, Joe, it's the first time I've ever followed one. They usually chase me. So uh, they were really excited to have them in front now, making room for them. I want to thank them. They've never let us down, and we've been safe every time because they've made it happen. And that is pretty special. Uh, to the Vietnam veterans, God bless you all. That's my era. I know how tough and difficult. I tell people, they ask me about the state of West Virginia, and I says, Sometimes we feel like the returning Vietnam veterans. We've done everything this country has asked. We've provided the energy it needs. We've made the steel, built the guns and ships. We've done everything. But now there's some people elite around this country, especially in Washington, think we're not good enough, clean enough, green enough, or smart enough. I've got news for them. Doesn't come any better than West Virginia and the West Virginians we have right here tonight. So, to the Gold Star family, tonight is your day. I mean, today is your day. This is because of the sacrifices you just heard of them losing their loved ones for the service of our country. They never asked. They never asked. They just basically served. And then took their orders and basically willfully served them and gave, made the supreme sacrifice. So I think all West Virginians, and I've said this so many times, we are the most patriotic people. We fought in more wars, shed more blood, lost more lives in the cause of freedom than most any state. We have more, more veterans per capita than most any state. I've always told them, they says, West Virginians, they really, they're good in battle. I says, oh, they'll go and they'll fight anywhere. And if there's not a good battle going on, we'll fight each other just to be ready. <laughs> so be careful. Anyway, let's get down to what we're here for. Uh, each year we do this a little bigger and a little better. We got two, uh, two years of hiatus. This is our first year back on the road. And my goodness, I don't know. Anybody count how many motorcycles we have? 100, 200? Over 1,000. Over 1,000. I like that. There's a person after my own heart. Uh, I, ride your bike. <laughs> <laughs> I want to think about our dear friend Chuck Yeager. Chuck would have been here. He's, he just was so supportive, and we we're so proud to have such an icon in the military serving from a little Hamden, West Virginia, down in the mountains of southern West Virginia. 
His wife, Victoria, is here with us, and we appreciate having her representing him. But we never forget Chuck Yeager. And of course, what can I say about Woody Williams? Woody's the one that basically we were talking. He said, Joe, let's do something. So I know he has his wingman here. Where is, where's Kim? Kim Wolf, Kim? Back there. Kim's been from the beginning. He made sure, and Woody says, Kim, we're going here or there. When you want to find a wingman, there's your guy right there. Kim Wolf, thank you, former sheriff. Okay. I can't tell you what an honor and a pleasure it is for me to represent the greatest state in the, in the country at the highest level in Washington. And you all give me bragging rights, and I've said that. Everything that we do in West Virginia, we do it for the cause of freedom that we love and the liberties that we have. And we'll fight anywhere in the world to protect the other people that want the same. So with that, West Virginia, you give me the bragging rights, and you make me prouder than you know that I could ever be, and I appreciate that. So here's what we're here. We're here basically for the service that has been given, the, the sacrifices that have been made, and the families that are still here. And at this time, I would like to say this. I want every one of them, each one of the gold miners who come back up, we got a presentation. This is, this is a record amount we've ever done in one year to really support 100% of every dollar goes right to the Gold Star families to help them help families throughout West Virginia in their most needed and difficult times. So with that, Thanks, yeah. How, how many of the sponsors? We had about 20 to 21 sponsors that made this happen. So any of the sponsors that are there, if they would please come up too. If we have any sponsors that made the ride or, or are here, if you would come forward so we can properly thank you. We appreciate that very much. And as all you all know, the uh, a nation sleeps peacefully at night because men and women, like all of you and like all of their family members have basically answered the call and asked no questions at all, at all except the loyalty to their great country and defending the Constitution of the United States of America. So I say, may God bless each and every one of you and may he ever, forever, ever shine on our great state of West Virginia and continue to bless the great country of the United States of America. And with that, now for the presentation. That's good. Let me first think about We have a check for $130,000 for the Gold Star families. He calls them out of here. He calls it all of you. Who's ever done that for me? Yeah, yeah. This is because of our dedication with fallen heroes. We'll never forget. No, we will never see it either. By showing up, I've said this. Motorcycle riders are the most generous, loyal, patriotic people that I've ever known in my state of West Virginia and across the country. And there's a worthwhile ride in the cause. You're always there. God bless each and every one of you. Continue to ride safe and be safe. May the Lord bless you. Thank you. Thank you, each and every one.